Hi, I'm Brad Gage, and this is Drunk Driving, the show where I pick up drunk comedians from bars and force them to tell me drinking stories. Tonight, I'm picking up Dave Ross from El Prado in Silver Lake. He, uh, he's, he's a little drunk. By the way, yeah. holy moly, am I drunk. Good. It's bananas how drunk I am. That's, that's fantastic. Well, I haven't, I three haven't beers. drunk in a little bit. Yeah, it's three beers, but it was three, like... Powerful beers. There were strong, potent beers. Like, man, my dick does not stay hard very long. <laughs> I'm gonna tell this the world this right now. <laughs> if you date, watch me, out, ladies. You're dealing with a dick that stays hard. Twelve minutes stops. But I think I think it's good to get that out there because then um, you're kind of like you're cornering the market on women who just get exhausted really quickly. Tell me about the first time that you ever drank. Like, my parents never taught me. Like, I wasn't allowed to even be near beer or alcohol or anything. I didn't know anything about it. I knew what the words were, and I'd, like, uh -huh. watch TV and stuff. And my friend Bobby was driving me to my house, and I was like, holy fuck, I saw this thing behind, like, the gate. I was like, pull over, pull over, pull over. There were bottles, and we looked down, and there were two, what I now know, are 40 ounces of Old English. That night we went to a, an all-night bowling lock-in. <laughs> Wait, what grade was this? I must have been a junior or senior, so we couldn't bring the 40s in, so I, uh, we were like, well, it's liquor, because it says malt liquor on the thing. Right. We are like, liquor needs a chaser. <laughs> so we, I'm not shitting you, we took a soapy bottle <laughs> and filled it like a third of the way with OE, <laughs> and then filled the rest with Coke. We were like, we're gonna get so fucked up, man. <laughs> and we went to this bowling lock in and like drank, and I didn't get fucked up at all. It just tasted like shit. Yeah. <laughs> the place to go to like party was the New Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. Before, a show. before, yes. Jer yeah, I knew Jersey I've, Shore. I've heard of the back shore. Back when the first time we were there, we had like a bottle of vodka and a bottle of whiskey, and uh, we didn't have any chasers. And I don't know what it was about me. Like, I thought that. You couldn't drink liquor without a chaser. Right. My friend Bobby and I, we had like food, brownies and bagels. We had brownies and bagels. I, this is something I've done in my life. I dipped a brownie in vodka. <laughs> yeah, a brownie was like really bad, but a bagel was super terrible because you're like chewing. We like dipped the fucking thing like a donut in milk. I'm fucking super drunk. Can we go, go to Jack in the Box? There's a Jack in the Box right there. Yes. We right. can absolutely 100% go to Jack in the Box. They have stuffed jalapeno peppers. I think I'm going to have those. Oh, I always get seven of those. Poppers. Always. Yeah, that's a healthy that's a healthy amount of garbage. Tell me about your craziest drunk story. There is the night that uh, up 4th of July, my uh, after my junior year of college, when there were six of us splitting a keg of Keystone Light, and despite all of our desperate attempts, we couldn't finish it until someone who owned a BMW made the horrific mistake of parking it underneath the balcony of my apartment and I went outside with a trash can filled with beer bottles and one by one just threw them on top of this BMW. Jeez. Like the time of my life when I was the biggest drinker uh -huh. was when I lived in Fresno. You lived in Fresno? I was in Fresno for two years. Yeah, so I immediately became like a full-blown alcoholic, which is really crazy because up until then I was smoking like lots of heroin. That's like totally true. Uh, Whoa. Yeah, my senior year of college is like fuck loads of heroin, man. And I'm like, I know it sounds like a joke, but it's not a joke. No, I, I mean, smoked a lot of heroin. Yeah. Um, I never shot it up, but I smoked a fair amount of heroin. St I mean, still pretty much as intense. Yeah, it's not as intense. Not as, okay. But it's still heroin. I can't believe I'm saying all this on a fucking web series. My parents see this, I'm gonna fucking... I also don't do drugs now, and I, like, work very hard. Yeah, and have, like, you... have, a career you're and stuff. Well, that's the thing, like, you're, you, you're, like, so not any of this right. stuff. No, now. I know. It's, like, hard to believe. Not only do I not do drugs, I would never again do drugs. Brad, this is fun, man. Dave. Thank you for everything that you did tonight. <laughs> Thank you. This was like exactly, this is exactly what I want the show to be. <laughs> Meth stories.